Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The name of Alashket, like thousands of settlements in Western Armenia, is also tokified. Due to the direct invitation of the Azerbaijani side, the gas supply to the Republic of Artsakh has been stopped again. In Javakh, a number of villages were left without electricity and natural gas, and there are closed roads. One of the historical structures of Alevi villages of Sebastia in Western Armenia may be turned into a Mosque. Artsakh Foreign Ministry, it is impossible to destroy the Armenian spirit of Shushi. A scientific conference dedicated to the 125th anniversary of Yerushet Charent was held in Stepanakert. In 1869, the great businessman Galust Gulbekian was born on this day. A number of exhibitions on the same genocide of Armenian people and cultural genocide have been lodged in Georgia. Alashkert is one of the ancient settlements of Western Armenia. It has existed since Urartian times, since the 8th century BC. According to Armenian sources, it was founded at the end of the 2nd century AD by King Vagash I and named after him Vagashapad. In Urartian cuneiform inscriptions, the settlement is referred to the Anasht and Alasha, later it became known as Alashkert. Like thousands of settlements in Western Armenia, Alashkert was also Turkified. Now it is called Alashkert. From some information and archaeological materials transmitted by the Urartian cuneiform inscriptions, it is clear that Alashkert was a fortress since the 7th and 8th centuries. According to some information, Alashkert played a significant role as a spiritual center. As a result of the direct interventions of the Azerbaijani side, the gas supply to the Republic of Artsakh has been stopped again. This is reported by the information headquarters of Artsakh. We have sufficient grounds to assert that during the repair of a gas pipeline blown up on March 8, the Azerbaijan side installed a valve through which it stopped gas supply a few hours ago. Azerbaijan uses the unfavorable weather conditions to create additional humanitarian problems for our population and resorts to a criminal step. The commander of Russian peacekeeping contingent stationed in Artsakh was immediately informed about the situation. The statement reads. Today, the roads leading to some villages of Akhalkalak district are blocked and several villages are deprived of electricity and natural gas. According to the mayor of Akhalkalak, a special car was pulled out with the help of which the roads leading first to the villages of Bugashen and then to the village of Bejano will be cleared of snow. The mayor notes that a snow layer is so strong that it can only be opened with a special dervis or a tractor. In Bugashen, the problem is not only closed road but also the lack of natural gas. The wind damaged the gas pipeline and the village. At the moment, several villages of the district are still de-energized. In the province of Sebastia, Western Armenia, where the Alevans live, there is a destroyed historical building which the state authorities are trying to confiscate under the name of mosque. In addition to construction of mosques, the state also pursues an assimilation policy of turning historical buildings into mosques. The villages go to court through a lawyer. The court ruled that a ruined construction was never a mosque, and the state objected to the court decision by filing a lawsuit by the Court of Appeal. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh issued a statement on occasion of the 102nd anniversary of the massacre of the Armenian population in Shushi. Today we bow our hands in the memory of innocent victims of the massacre of Armenian population in Shushi. The pogroms were committed by the Azerbaijan authorities on March 22 to 26 in 1920. The Shushi massacre in which Turkish officers took an active part was another attempt to transfer the genocide of Armenians to Eastern Armenia. During the 44-day aggression, Azerbaijan occupied Shushi, which led to the eviction of Armenians from the city. However, it is impossible to destroy the Armenian spirit of Shushi, which is linked with Artsakh. The spirit was reborn in May 1992, and it will be reborn again. The conference time and national spirit of works of Charents was organized in the Ludwig Research Center of Stepanakert University, named after Grigor Narekatsi. Director of University Professor Vartan Hakopian made an introductory speech. Yangshe Charents is a strong person in our literature. We see we can present ourselves to world literature. He is truly a global phenomenon and a burnt genius. Every line of Charents testified to his devotion of national spirit and logic. The conference was attended by teachers and scientists of Artsakh universities. 
Galus Sarkisevich Gulbenkian was born on March 23, 1869 in Constantinople. He played an important role in making the oil resource of the Middle East available for exploration by the West. Back in 1860, Galus' father, Sarkis Gulbenkian, became the owner of several oil companies in the Caucasus. After the genocide of 1915, he acquired territories of Mesopotamia to provide shelter to refugees. In his hands were large oil companies. He managed to collect a valuable collection of works of art, in which about 6,000 original works were found. From 1920 to 1940, he directed Armenian schools and medical centers in Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan and Iraq and undertook the construction of numerous churches in the Middle East. Galus Kulbekian died on July 20, 1955, at the age of 86 in Lisbon. The Armenian community of Georgia has launched a series of exhibitions on a same genocide of Armenian people and cultural genocide. On March 21, the first of the exhibition was held, which was supported by members of the Student Union of Georgia, Rafi, and the Youth Union of Georgia. The series of exhibitions will last until April 24 in different districts of Tbilisi, including Avlabar, Isani, and Saburtalo. Now the musical part, Manik Grigorian, Handem Banjar Beroch Chem. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.